This is wild. Sora 2 Pro is now available for everyone to use and it's actually blowing my mind. What you're seeing here, my friend, could be safely considered the death or maybe the... Let me take a seat back and think about how we'll stay in business of Hollywood. No rage baiting, just truth, facts. Take a look at these short clips. Hey guys, I just got to Bali and wow, it's literally paradise. Everything's green, everyone's smiling and yeah. And then sir, and then sir, and then sir. Just garlic, butter, and a little courage. You know those days when you feel off? It is fascinating and scary at the same time. I spent the last 24 hours experimenting heavily with it to figure out the best ways you can prompt and use it. And in this video, I will share with you some pro tips so that you can achieve consistent results throughout the video. This tutorial will cover how to create consistent storyline, generate intros, generate realistic low fidelity social media videos, generate cinematic VFX, generate ads, slash B-roll and more, all with Sora 2 Pro. To access Sora Pro, which is the most advanced video generator in the world for now, generating videos at true 1080p with a 12 second limit, head over to Enhancer Video Generator and select the Sora model. It comes with text to video and image to video capabilities. For the purpose of this video, we will focus solely on text to video. In here, you can either generate with Sora 2 Standard, which comes at 720p and lower quality overall, or toggle in Sora Pro for the best results. We will try both. Now, before we start prompting, I want you to keep in mind this prompt formula I discovered to work very well. Sora 2 Pro is by far the only model that sticks to timeline prompting. What do I mean by that? On the right, you have the prompt and on the left, the output. It follows your timeline instructions pretty much to the T. So every second that you describe corresponds to the frames that are produced, which as you can see, allows you to achieve unreal consistency between shots. Here's a simple structure overview which you can adapt to your own niche or video type. The longest video you can currently generate is 12 seconds. So the first zero to three seconds, you have your hook or entry. Then three to six seconds, you build some context. Six to nine seconds, you climax or transition. And finally, nine to 12 seconds, there is a looping point or your resolution. Here are the structural tags or the timeline anchors and labels you can use with your prompt some audio and voice cue tags you can add before. Example, if you want a voiceover, if you want the character to speak, or maybe if you want the character to think out loud, you would just add them right before the script. Some sound and music tags, some add-on variables for cinematic quality that you might want to consider as well, such as camera angle, transition, and more. Again, all these things help guide your generation better, and I found they work very well with Sora 2 Pro. It is almost like JSON prompting. And finally, here are some emotion slash performance tags, which you can as well add in your prompt if you want to achieve more dynamic and expressive videos. Great. So I have put a prompt together following all these directions and tags, which you can see on the screen. I mixed and matched them to follow my idea. I have some voiceovers, uh, the actor actually speaking to the camera, some transitions, etc. I will copy this and paste it over into text to video inside Enhancer, making sure we have toggled on the pro version and hit generate. Now, this will take a while to generate, expect maybe 10 to 15 minutes, but it will get faster with time. And we're talking about the pro version, the, the actual, the standard version. It's gonna take about five minutes. This is what we got. Okay, listen, this one's important. She's oversharing Three again. tiny habits that changed everything. Stop waiting for motivation. Just start. You'll thank yourself later. Yo, this is wild. It follows the prompt so well. You can quite literally follow the same format for anything. So let's say that I want to generate an intro, like a, a YouTube intro, but I only want it to be four seconds. The very first thing that we do is ask ourselves, what do we want the intro to look like? This is an overview section, which you can copy uh, from the screenshot and paste it into ChatGPT if you wish. So I start with a title, what I want my project to be, say the intro name, the project name, then we're going to have the aesthetics. What's a visual vibe? Is it going to be a retro, cyberpunk, minimal? Um, what's the format? Is it going to be 9 by 16, 16 by 9, square? Where are we using this intro? The soundtrack. Is it going to have soundtrack? Do we, do we want to have um, any sort of instrumental? What's the lighting that I'm looking for, the, the look? I'd add a short description of the, the visual feel here. Then of course, the color palette, like what are the colors? What am I looking for? Is it gonna be blue, pink, purple, neon? The camera style, 
Is it going to pan? Is it going to be static? Is it going to orbit? And last but not least, the mood. Is it energetic? Is it nostalgic, cinematic, futuristic? So based on this overview section um, that you can copy and paste into chat GPT and fill in the blanks, we write our prompt. And again, it will be limited to four seconds, not 12. To help you write your own prompt, you can drop in this other prompt into ChatGPT to make it easier for you. So as ChatGPT, you are a cinematic director. Would I give you a concept for a short video, four to 12 seconds? You need to create a detailed shot by shot breakdown using this structure. Use a clear timestamp time code for each second of the segment. Describe what is visually happening in the moment. Focus on camera movement, framing, lighting, color, motion, animation, key actions. Include uh, sound details and tags like sound effects, music, voiceovers, whatever we talked about before, eh? Keep each shot description concise and cinematic, two to four lines max. Use italics for sound or music emphasis, for example, synth, wash, beat drop. The final shot should end with a clear transition with a loop or fade. Um, then you can put in um, your example format if you have an example format. So essentially, step number one, you paste in the overview section. So this prompt over here into ChatGPT so that you tell ChatGPT exactly what is it that you're trying to build or generate. And then after ChatGPT knows, you paste in the prompt builder, this one over here, into ChatGPT. And ChatGPT is going to take all that information and turn it into something like this. You copy this and you paste it inside Sora 2, inside Enhancer, hit generate. Again, make sure that you've toggled on the pro version and boom. Hey, CDO. Hey, CDO. This is sick. Imagine all the YouTube intros that you can simply generate in less than a minute. This is next level. Now, here's an example of an iPhone unboxing video following the exact same workflow. All right, let's open this up. Man, that's always the best part. There it is, brand new, clean, perfect. Never gets old. Wild. Like, wow, I, I don't have words. If I did not know that this was AI, I would for sure be fooled. How about we try a crazy VFX? From tell tell me this does not look like it was shot in a professional studio like hollywood knock knock who's there agi kidding what about some sort of um asmrs Outfit transitions. Storytelling. Probably, we're not doing anything today. But we have work. Nope, this is self-care. Vlogs. Hey guys, I'm finally in Paris. Literally can't believe it. This whole street smells like butter and chaos. It's amazing. Wait, wait, you can see it. Okay, I'm never leaving. <laughs> Camera transitions. All these videos are generated with Sora 2 Pro. Let me show you a few more examples. It's 1 a.m. and this is therapy. Just garlic, butter, and a little courage. Less recipe, more feeling. Midnight saved. Three things that instantly boost my mood. Number one, good sense, instant serotonin. Two, music while doing literally anything. And three, people who get your vibe. All right, breakfast in 60 seconds. Crispy, golden, just the way we like it. Bit of heat, bit of heart, boom. Simple, perfect. Okay, here are three confidence tips I swear by. Number one, stop apologizing for existing. Two, dress for your mood, not the world. Three, fake it till it feels real. Good morning. I woke up way too early today. Started with coffee, obviously. Kept it simple, comfy, but cute. 
Okay, let's do this. So we're at two standard is also good, um, but better for low fidelity and, and if you want to do something quick. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the same prompt in Sora 2 versus Sora 2 Pro. It came from nowhere. Hey guys! I'm finally in Paris. Literally can't believe it. This whole street smells like butter and chaos. It's amazing. Wait, wait, you can see it! <laughs> okay, I'm never leaving. Alright, let's open this up. Man, that's always the best part. There it is. Brand new, clean, perfect. Never gets old. In my opinion, this makes a huge difference. Just garlic, butter, and a little courage. Less recipe, more feeling. Midnight save. So this, my friend, is a very quick rundown of what Sora 2 Pro can do with what I call timeline prompting. I'll explore more of it and, and find interesting use cases and applications. You can find Sora 2 Pro inside Enhancer by simply clicking on Tools, Video Generator, and it will just pop up right there. I've just showed you the tip of the iceberg. I appreciate you being here, friend, and, and spending time with me today. And if you want to support me in what I do, head over to Enhancer AI, grab a subscription, use the tools, and give me all the feedback you have. Build it alone, and this product means a lot to me because it has quite literally changed my life, and I could have not done it without you. Um, we're adding live chat support for you to speak to a real human that can actually help in real time. And I'm so excited about that. Thank you for being here, friend. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications. But something that I really want you to remember before you go about your day is that the real magic of AI is not what it can do for you, but how it empowers you to do what you've always wanted, to create without limits. This is serious.